What's going on everyone? It is Lachlan from the Footballers Channel here and today I will be doing my round 8 footy tips for the 2023 Toyota AFL Premiership season. Uh, it was an interesting round last week, a couple of, up, couple of results that didn't expect, a couple of 50-50s that didn't go our way, but 6 out of 9 still a pretty good score. Um, but here we are doing our round 8 footy tips. Uh, I'll put links in the description down below. So let's get straight into round 8. So the first game of the round kicks off. Tomorrow night, Friday night, just tomorrow, um, with Carlton taking on Brisbane at Marvel Stadium. Possibly this is the game of the round in my eyes. And this is a bit of a 50-50 game because Carlton are coming off a 100-point smashing last week against West Coast. And Brisbane have been in red-hot form. They've won their last four, including an eight-goal win over Fremantle last week. Now, they haven't been perfect on the road all season. And this game is a bit iffy to choose from here because it could go either way. Um... Yeah, but a bit of a tough one to think of here. But I'm going to go for a little bit of an upset. I wouldn't really call it an upset, but I'm going to tip the Blues here. I'm going to tip the Blues um, in this one. Just got a sense that coming off that win last week against West Coast, I know it was against West Coast, but that can just get their confidence up and going. Uh, they're coming off a 100-point win, can I kick nine? That can probably get sense that they could knock off Brisbane here. Brisbane have got a few guys out too. Zorko and Rich are out. So that could sense... That Carlton might win this. Uh, but yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if Brisbane knocked them off. But I'm going to go Carlton here. I'm going to tip them by 10 points in a close one. I reckon this will go down to the wire. But I am going to be tipping the Blues uh, to notch a big win on Friday night against the Lions. Moving on then to Saturday now. Five big games on Saturday. We start with a not-so-exciting game. We've got Richmond up against the West Coast Eagles at the MCG. And boy... Tiggies are in trouble. They were very disappointing. That was probably one of the worst performances I've ever seen uh, during the week. I mean, I just didn't didn't expect them to play the way they did. I mean, I thought that Mal against Melbourne, they were very competitive, and then they just <clears throat> went down the shambles and played probably the worst game I've ever seen them play in a long time. Um, and now they're taking on an Eagles side who are heavily depleted with injuries and that. They've only got 26 fit players on the, on the list. So, yeah... Um, that's an interesting one. That's a that's a lot out. Um, I think Richmond do get a few back this week. Um, oh, but surely this is a week Richmond get up. I mean, I'm going to back the Tigers. I mean, Richmond is my tip. Richmond, they just got to win this game. If they're going to get back on track, and they probably get the Eagles at, at a perfect time right now because they're heavily depleted. They're coming off a 100-point loss. There's, this is your chance to bounce back, and I reckon it'll be this week. I know I've said it a couple of times now, but this is the week they'll bounce back. Um, but really, if they can't beat West Coast, then calling it media conference the next morning, Damien Harwick's job is in strife. I reckon that could happen if we don't win this game. But um, yeah, Richmond should get the win. They should win pretty comfortably, to be honest, and give the Eagles another loss. Other game on Saturday afternoon, we've got Geelong up against the Adelaide Crows at GMHPA. And this is going to be a pretty good game to watch. Geelong right now, I think they're starting to hit their form. Right now, they've won their last four. Now, I think they've won four in a row to Cats. They're playing some pretty good footy. They're just getting the ball rolling now. They've had a few good wins. And you look at the Crows, and boy, boy, they should not have lost that game last week against Collingwood. They pretty much just gave the gave the game to the Pies. And Gold King was definitely an accurate problem here. It doesn't get easier this week. They're taking on the reigning premiers, Jim Geelong, who are starting to hit their form now. They're starting to hit their stride. Tom Hawkins kicked eight last week. Um... Yeah, I mean, if this was anywhere else, I would sense this could be an upset. But because it's down in Geelong, the Cats are very hard to beat there. I've got to tip Geelong. I think they get the easy win here. I don't think... Probably not an easy win, but I think it'll be a comfortable win because it's down in Geelong. Probably four to five goals, roughly. But hopefully Adelaide do take it up to the Cats. But I'm expecting Geelong to continue the role on this week. So Geelong will be my tip for that one. Moving on then to the Twilight game on Saturday. We've got Gold Coast taking on Melbourne at Heritage Bank Stadium. And the Suns, they're starting to get a little bit of roll going themselves. They've won their last two games. They're hitting some, Ben King's hitting some good form. Kicked five the week before, kicked four last week. He's starting to get into some pretty good form. And that um, is a really good sign for a Gold Coast forward line. And then they're taking on Melbourne, who obviously smashed North last week by 90 points. And really, I said that Melbourne, um, the second team in my eyes, they can win the flag. Them and Collingwood are the two favourites. I reckon Gold Coast will give them a run for their money in this game. I reckon they will take it up to them. However, the Ds, they're just unstoppable at the moment. They're very hard to beat. I think the Ds get it done here. Not comfortably. 
I think Gold Coast will make it interesting, and then I think at the right time, Melbourne will just run off with it in the last quarter and win it pretty comfortably. Well, it could be close, you never know, but I reckon Gold Coast will give them a run for their money, but I am going to be tipping the Ds. They should get it done. Two games on Saturday night now. We've got GWS and the Western Bulldogs next up at Monica Oval. And, um, yeah, this is a 50-50 game for me. I mean, the Giants, every game this year, they've actually been in every single game, and they came from 24 points down the last quarter to knock off the Swans. Toby Green was the hero in that game. That was an outstanding win for them um, last weekend. And now the Bulldogs, on the other hand, yeah, they were challenged last week, but as a good side, they found a way to win, which is what a good side should do. So they'll be pretty pumped up heading into for that result, for that heading to this one. I really am tempted to tip the Giants right now because of what I've been seeing for them lately, how competitive they've been. But I can't tip the, I can't tip the Giants. I'm going to have to back the Bulldogs here. Safe option to go for them. But um, I really do hope the Giants can pull off a win here because of how good they've been, especially under Adam Kingsley too. Um, they're a young side, but they've been very competitive. They had a very good win last week. I reckon they're a really good chance in this one. But I'm tipping the Bulldogs to uh, scrap scrap out a win on Saturday night. And then the other game on Saturday night was we head over to the West where Fremantle take on Hawthorne at Optus Stadium. And this, Fremantle just have to win this game because they've been very disappointing. They've probably been one of the most disappointing teams this season. Apart from Richmond, Fremantle have been one of the, also been one of the most disappointing teams this year. To make finals last year, to get through the first week and then possibly missing finals this year is, is a big low. And they've got to get their season back on track and... I know most people think, oh, it's certainly Hawthorne. They should beat them pretty comfortably. But no, Hawthorne have been in every, been in most games the last couple of times. They've only just fallen short the last few times. They fell short against the Giants. They fell short against the Crows. They got outplayed in the second half against the Dogs. They've been in every single game. And really, I wouldn't be surprised if they pull off an upset here. Um, but yeah, but I'm going to have to back Frio only for the fact it's on their home deck and they need a win. And this is probably the week to do it. But Hawthorne, Definitely an upsets on the cards here, and I reckon the Hawks are very capable of that. But I am going to be tipping the Dockers to win this one. And that leads us down to the Sunday matches. Three games on Sunday. We start with the early game. We've got Port taking on the Bombers at the Adelaide Oval. Port Adelaide, they're coming off. They're in red-hot form right now. They've won their last four. A very good win last week against St. Kilda. The Bombers, they're just starting to slack off a bit now. They've lost their last two. They choked a 28-point three-quarter time lead against Collingwood. And I thought they were okay in the second half against Geelong, but Geelong pretty much dominated that game from the start. And Essen just never looked in it. So they've been a bit slack lately, the Bombers. And it doesn't get any easier for them. They're taking on the jump. They're taking on Port, who have won their last four and in red hot form. And coming to the Adelaide Oval is not an easy task. So yeah, I'm going to have to pick Port Adelaide here. I think they'll be way too good. Um, but yeah, I think the Bombers, hopefully the week off does get them fully recovered, but and hopefully a chance to crack, have a crack at it. But I am thinking that Port will just be too good at home. They're just very hard to beat there. So Port Adelaide, I think, will make it five in a row on Sunday. Second last game of the round, the middle game on Sunday, we've got Collingwood taking on the Sydney Swans at the MCG. Um, Collingwood last week. Boy. They probably shouldn't have won that game last week. I mean, if Adelaide didn't miss those chances, they probably would, would not have won that game. And they were pretty lucky to win that one. I mean, they just find a way all the time, Collingwood. Their last two games, I mean... I came within six days and both they had a dominance at last morning at Collingwood and then they just find a way to win against the Crows. Just an outstanding, um, this is just how good they are and this is why I think they're the Premiership favourites because they just know how to win games of footy. Craig McRae has shown that well. Um, yeah, and they're taking on a Sydney outfit who have been disappointing the last two weeks. They've lost four of their last five now, the Swans. Their recent one was when they blew a 24-point lead in the last quarter and lost to the Giants. Pretty bad loss, to be honest with you. Um, obviously then the week before they got absolutely flogged in the grand final rematch against Geelong and um, it'll be interesting to see how they go against Collingwood this week but the way Collingwood are playing right now I just don't see it happening I think the Pies will be way too good and I think they'll win again this week Collingwood is my tip there they'll be winning that game pretty comfortably on Sunday afternoon uh, and then the final game of the round is probably the uh, well, not an exciting game. Uh, North Melbourne and taking on St Kilda in the Twilight game at Marble Stadium. North Melbourne are just, their wheels are falling off right now. They got flogged last week by Melbourne. You, you tell they're looking like the North Melbourne of last year and the Saints. I know they probably copped the, they probably just wear a coach last week, I thought, against um, Port Adelaide. And yeah, I just think they'll come out this week and they'll bounce back. They're a good team. They're a good side this year, the Saints. I think we can tell that. I expect they'll come, they'll come out this week and they'll get a, a bounce back win. And pretty convincingly, I reckon, 
on tipping the Saints to win that one on Sunday. So that is it. Those are my tips for round eight. So recapping them again, I'm tipping Carlton over Brisbane. I'm tipping Carlton, Richmond, Geelong, Melbourne, Western Bulldogs, Fremantle, Port Adelaide, Collingwood, and St. Kilda. So those are my tips there. Luke's tips will be in the description down below. Um, but that is it. That's us done. That's me done doing my tips for this week. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace out.